Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. Tonight, we're doing a quick tutorial on something that I think is really, really important. Uh, earlier today in our live stream, which once a week we've been doing live streams on the YouTube channel. If you haven't, you need to come check it out because it's pretty fun. But we were doing a live stream where I was playing through uh, different users' work in progress maps. And the one thing that a ton of people did not have is a good cameras. Cameras are very, very important, especially when we're doing anything complex. Uh, cameras are used to show us the direction that we need to go. They're used to give us a little bit of extra reaction time. There's a lot of great benefits for use of camera triggers. And today we're going to talk about a few of them. Just get into the basics, nothing really crazy, something that you can do today uh, and understand really quickly uh, about the, the how, the what, the why, all those things. So let's get started. And actually, before we get started, I know I just said we're about to get started. I had to go back and edit this in like way after I was done recording the video, but I forgot. And it's important. Uh, if there is a certain video tutorial that you want to see, let me know down in the comment section. If that video tutorial is the Ahorn installation, I'm working on it. I promise I'm working on it. It's just a lot longer of a process than putting something like this together. I promise that will be coming soon. Likewise, if this video was of use to you and it helped out, let me know down in the comment section, hit me up down there. And if you're not a member of the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got tons of tutorials coming, a lot of great Celeste content, a lot of other gaming content will be coming very shortly as well. That's really all I have. Let's actually go to where I was starting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Moon. All right, so I threw together a quick little map just to give you an idea of how this stuff shakes out. Uh, by default, your camera values are zero, zero. Your X and your Y value are both zero. So when I jump in this bubble and I go, I'm going to be directly in the center of the screen, which for the most part is fine. But when we're doing anything more complicated, you'll see that if the camera was down a little bit, we might have more reaction time for where we needed to go. And that's where camera offset triggers come in. So there's a couple different things that you can do. If you want just offset set in your room, you could configure your room to have an offset X or an offset Y. If you are positive in the X value, your camera is going to look more towards the right. Maddie will be further to the left of the screen. If it is a negative value in the X, Maddie is going to be further to the right of the screen, giving you more viewable space on the left side of the screen. If you have a positive Y offset, you will be looking lower on the screen. And then obviously, if you have a negative Y value, you will be looking higher up. So I'm going to focus pretty much just on the trigger aspect of it. You can configure the rooms however you want. Uh, so let's first go into placements. We're going to click triggers and we're looking for camera offset trigger. Now, if you want this offset to start right when Maddie spawns in the room, you can just place it right there. Keep in mind, you want to place this trigger in a place where you will definitely hit it. Because if you only put it in a place like this and somehow you jump over it or get around it, that trigger just doesn't happen and then it may look bad. So you can cover the entire thing. It can be as thin as you want. As long as Maddie passes through it, it will trigger. So our first trigger, when we right click it here, we can see that we're at an X of zero and a Y of zero. Now we want to look a little bit more ahead. So we would want to place an X value of positive one. I, I typically go between one and 1.5. Now, if you're going really fast and let's say you're using ultras or you're doing something where you're going even faster, like you're using swap blocks with ultras, you can set a two, a three, a four. It really depends on how fast you're trying to go. I've seen some crazy offsets. So I, I typically play around with one to 1.5. We can do 1.5 just for the time being so you can kind of get an idea of how this looks. So when we reload the map, now obviously we're still here. Once I hop in this bubble though, it's not gonna be in the center of the screen. You can see now we're a little bit on the left side. But now we kind of have a problem because once I jump in this top bubble, the X value is still off to the side. So we need to add a new trigger to, you know, change that up. So we can make another trigger. Once we obviously dash in this bubble, that will change our X value from one to zero, and then our Y value from zero to let's call it 1.5. 
That way, as soon as we hit that, the camera pans down, allowing us to see that we need to go down and giving us a little bit better reaction time to whatever's happening. So let's check it out. Boom, so now puts Maddie right back in the center of the screen and uh, then gives us a little bit of, uh, we can see further down. Now there's another trigger that I like to use and we won't dig too heavily into this, but it is called the smooth camera offset trigger. And the smooth camera offset trigger is really nice, especially when you need to pan over a certain direction and you don't wanna make it really jerky. What this allows us to do is we can change our offset from a certain position to a certain position. So our offset was X0, Y1.5, I believe, right? Let's see, it was 1.5. And then we can change it to, um, in this case, we want to be looking at this bubble down at the bottom, which is to the left. So we're actually gonna put a negative, let's go negative one, and then I'll keep the offset of Y to zero so we stay in the center of the screen from a vertical point. Uh, so it's gonna only really impact our uh, X value. And then there's different position modes. Uh, you can kind of mess around with that. One of the neat things about the camera offset trigger, the ever smooth camera offset trigger, is the ability to make this trigger only one time. That's a convenient tool if you're if you only want that trigger to happen once, like you're you have a puzzle that you're going through and you want it to look in a certain direction one time and then you have to make your way around and you don't want it to trigger off again, it's a neat little tool. So what this is going to do, and you'll be able to see as we make our descent down, the smooth camera offset trigger is going to pan over to the left so that we can see this bubble in here. Boom. But now, obviously, we can see that we need to make some more changes here before we get to our berry. So we can do from this point maybe another smooth camera. That takes us from an X value of negative 1, Y value of 0, to a Y value of 0.5 or 1, whichever you prefer. Um, you can kind of mess with that and then... For the very last one, we wanna be looking to the right so we can make a camera offset trigger that gives us a plus 1.5 value. And that should start looking pretty darn good. Except I literally just died in a tutorial video. Boom. And there you have it. And we got the berry. What's up? Let's go. So there, there's a lot to really, you know, there's a lot to, I guess, mess around with with this. And, there, and there's a lot of trial and error that are going to happen on on your end based on the map that you're making. You just want to kind of play around with those camera triggers. Like I said, if you're not going very fast, stick with one, stick with 1.5, even 0.5. If you need just a little bit of a, a direction, if you need to get diagonal, obviously you can adjust the X and the Y. If you need to look in the top right corner, you can do a positive one X, uh, negative Y, and it will pop up to the right corner. There are, um, those are really what I use the most. Your other camera triggers, there's an advanced target, which we can uh, get into in a later video. There is a camera target, and the camera target essentially is, I'm just gonna touch on this, I guess, for a second, but you take this point, and you kinda, you can pick a location, and when you're in that trigger area, it will, kind of move over there. Now you can have different position modes. We want to go like say left to right. The lerp strength as we can see here determines how fast the camera moves to lock into uh, place. So if we set a higher lerp strength it goes further and quicker. So I set like an 8. This will give you kind of an idea of what uh, what it can do. So as soon as we hop in there you can see trigger activates as soon as we step out of it it goes back. So I don't use those too often. I know some people do. Um, if there's a certain secret 
that you want to show off or give a hint, it's good to use. I just don't really use it that much. So, I mean, like I said, it is up to you how you want to use those types of things. I stick mainly to the, uh, the offsets, and I respawned into that spot. That's bad. And maybe there are other ways. I, I personally don't have many uses for the, the camera trigger. I know some people do. And maybe you'll let me know what those are down in the comments below. But uh, right now, that's, uh, that's all I got. All right, that is going to be all for tonight. I hope this was of some use to you. Hit me up down in the comments below on what you want to see next for a tutorial. And once again, if you're not a member of the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. we got tons of great stuff coming up. And last but not least, if you look down in the description, you will see a link to the Discord server. We just hit 500 people. You'll definitely want to get in there. We do live streams pretty much every night. We've got a, a whole bunch of people who just do tons of different games. Uh, we have events a couple of times a year, like big ones. We give out prizes, all that fun stuff. So you definitely want to get in on that. And with that, have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for watching.